Hello friends, uh, in last lecture we have gone through the chromosomal theory of inheritance which were given by Shetton and Bowery and in this lecture we are going to continue with Morgan's experiment. Introduction of Morgan was covered in last lecture so that will not be repeated now. Uh, as we know that Morgan has selected Drosophila melanogaster for their entire series of experiments. So let us go through which kind of experiments he has performed during his lifespan and what are the discoveries which are most importantly found by him. So if I talk about the Mendel's work, Mendel has greatly deal with uh, the experimental proof of Mendel's rules. As we know that Mendel have indicated the factors as unit of the uh, unit of the inheritance. But how they are transmitting from one parent to the other was absolutely unknown at that era. Later on, Shutton and Bowery has proposed initial theory of uh, this trans transmission of uh, this kind of traits in the form of chromosome. And now, in chromosome, how they are getting transferred from one parent to the other and which are the changes which are happening during this uh, uh, transformation and transition of genetic material from one uh, generation that is parental generation to the offspring next generation so he observed those transmissions very carefully he used various methods uh, even uh, ultra microscopy during his experiment and he suggested few theories uh, like how this uh, this material is getting transferred and how the variation is actually emerging. So he proposed two main method uh, or two main terminology which have been evolved uh, by their experiments. Number one is linkage. When two or more gene is transferred from the parent to the offspring without getting separated, they are linked gene and this phenomena is linkage. And a recombination when two genes are getting separated right and transferred from one generation to the other so that way you can find non parental combination of genetic material so that is called recombination so generation of non parental gene combination is recombination and if generation of non-parental gene combination is not found it is called linkage that's what we have seen yesterday right that was our last topic of discussion uh, into the uh, our previous lecture right so let us move with the experiment which have been uh, done by morgan so morgan carried out several dihybrid hybrid cross experiment Right, so he considered two characteristic features at a time in Drosophila melanogaster to study sex linked genes. You are supposed to take care of every single word which have been used here. Right, so dihybrid crosses in Drosophila and specifically the genes are located on sex chromosome that is X or Y it is called sex chromosome so if the gene is found in sex chromosome found on sex chromosome it is called sex linked genes ready so he actually performed so many various kind of experiments but we are going to study only two experiment here as an example so let us found first experiment what he has performed first experiment is known as cross one and into cross one mendel has considered two 
different characteristic feature number 1 color of body right number 1 color of body so either parent is yellow bodied or it is brown bodied in that brown body is dominant and yellow body is recessive this all phenomena you are supposed to remember carefully ready second character is color of eye this is character number 2 either white colored which is recessive or red color which is dominant here the word which is used is wild type so let me remind you again when it is found generally in excess then it is called what we can say abundant it is called white type and if it is dominant then and then only it is possible that they are found in more quantity right so in excess it is found that is why the word which is used wild type so wild type is a word which is used for uh, explaining the dominant trait right so don't uh, get confused what is the meaning of wild type wild type is dominant characteristic feature so why here if you see Y Y W W with a typical positive sign on that expresses the positive uh, trait and small y small y small w small w without that sign indicates recessiveness. So he cross between yellow bodied and white eyed females with brown bodied red eyed uh, red eyed males. in cross 1 whereas in cross 2 he has used the other two different types of characters one character is the similar one white eye or red eye and he has changed the other character that is wing size of wing right miniature that is short wing and large wing where large wing is typically the dominant character and miniature wing that is short wing it is uh, typically the recessive character so this is the second experiment what he has done so in second experiment he used white eyed miniature winged female with and he has crossed it with the red eyed large winged male Fine. so that's this is the cross what he has used for his experiment so let us see the experiment into the next slide and try to understand what he is going to conclude with this experiment right take a screenshot of this slide so if you observe in this slide in cross a you find two parent one is with yellow body and white eye it is recessive character and one is with dominant character it is wild type now <clears throat> red eyed or wild type a uh, male is when met with or crossed with female with yellow and white that is yellow body and uh, white eye it can produce two types of progeny if they produce female then their body type is going to be wild type that is dominant now why why it is like that because if you see the parents 
in parents the dominant or wild type it is having it as a being male it is having one x chromosome and second y chromosome right so on y chromosome there is no gene but in x chromosome they have one uh, y and one w gene which are going to express as the uh, the uh, wild type characteristic feature ready brown body and uh, the red eye now the important or noticeable change is that if it is having the other option of the other x chromosome now it is forwarded into the female as an x chromosome and the other x is from maternal side so they have option y star and y and w star and w where y star and w star they are showing the dominant characters so they are going to express in that so it is showing the wild type characteristic features but if it is male then one x in male is coming from its mother right so this is the x which is coming and y which is coming from father so this is the y chromosome so y is coming from here and x is coming from here so in that case it is not at all going to see the wild type characteristic feature so it is going to be yellow and white ready so the same characters are appeared but inverted right the maternal characters are into the male and paternal characters are now into the females so that's the first observation highlighting characters which is found now they have self crossed it right with one male and one female of f1 generation so when they have produced so many varieties of offsprings they found that parental type of combination are found definitely largely nearly 98.7% now why these are said to be parental combination because they are found into the previous generations right so if we calculate the first combination which is this one it is found into parental p male right if i think about option number 2 combination number 2 it is into f1 generation male if i talk about option number 3 it is found in the f1 female and option number 4 is into parental p female so they are previously found uh we can say genotype or phenotype <clears throat> whereas they have also produced new type of recombination right and this is into the very much less quantity 1.3 percentage of recombinant type has been produced into f2 of selfing f1 in cross one ready so that combination is what it is a combination of y star and w without star y without star and w with star again here y with star and w without star and y without star with w star this are new combination that is why it is said to be recombination but what we are about to understand is the quantity 
or amount of recombinant type is very less in this experiment cross one experiment very rare very less offsprings of f2 is produced as recombinant ready so the way we have studied experiment number one cross number one similarly if we observe cross two or cross b there gene or character which are used they are different oh, uh, number one character is eye color that is why uh, white and red that was the same as the previous one and second one character which has been considered is the wing size right so let us consider this experiment again parental generation that is capital p white and miniature it is female and recessive and red and large winged it is wild type and it is male right so this is female and this is male when they are crossed and produced f1 generation wild type is gone again similarly to female and recessive trait has been forwarded into the male as we have seen into the earlier experiment so i am not going to ex uh, explain it into the uh, similar with similar details we know that so if i talk about the f2 generation here parental combination is greatly reduced to 62.8 percentage and recombination ratio is increased up to 37.2 percentage so if i compare recombination ratio of cross a it is 1.3 and compared to that the ratio of recombination in cross b is much more higher that is 37.2 which is very very significantly higher now how it can be possible or why what is the reason behind that right now if you observe carefully the distance between two genes right y and w or y star w star and the distance between w m and w star m star so here in cross a distance is less and in cross b they have more distance so distance between genes are responsible for the phenomena of recombination that is what the conclusion he found ready so why recombination is possible or happening this is the proof experimental proof of that phenomena ready i hope you understand very much carefully and uh, uh, you please uh, take a screenshot of the slide as well So let us conclude Morgan's experiment. So if we consider the entire experiment of uh, uh, the uh, Morgan, what we have seen into the uh, last slide, he intercrossed F1 progeny to produce F2 progeny and what he found in that is when the two genes did not segregate independently and the f2 ratio derived it, uh, so deviated from 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 it is not exactly 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 which has been described by mendel so mendel's experimental 
quantity or ratio could not be found why fine what he concluded genes what he has considered it those all genes were located on x chromosomes only ready now when two genes are situated on the same chromosome do remember these first conclusion when they are situated on the same chromosome proportion of parental gene combination was much higher than non parental type and this is due to the linkage right so if i consider these two character these two gene gene number a and gene number b if they are on the same chromosome there are less chance to produce recombination if they are into the separate chromosome it is a higher chance to have non parental combination so they are linked with each other they are joined with each other because they are into the same chromosome ready this is the first conclusion what he uh, uh, he has found number 2 conclusion number 2 is gene of white and yellow were highly or tightly linked with each other they are tightly linked so that is why they are showing only 1.3 percentage of recombination whereas if you see white and miniature wing showed 31 percent or th sorry 37 percent of recombination and they are loosely linked right so uh, the magnitude of recombination is depending on the distance between genes right so if they are tightly linked means less distance the recombination ratio will be less and if they are far away from each other then they are loosely linked and that is why recombination ratio would be particularly high into that experiments fine so that's uh, the outcome of morgan's experiment what we have seen so tightly linked genes show low recombination and loosely linked genes show higher recombination that's the final conclusion of morgan experiment <clears throat> so based on this morgan experiment his student a h stortivant right in 1911 frequency of crossing over between two genes right he discovered the recombination frequency he gave he gave the name as recombination frequency it is a frequency of crossing over between two genes is a function of their distance as we have seen into the experiment if the distance between two gene is less recombination frequency is less and if the distance is large then recombination chance or frequency is high ready so he has actually given a formula by which we can calculate the recombination frequency of any given two genes ready so uh, let us uh, find the conclusion the frequency of crossing over between two genes is a function of their distance apart on the chromosome which is important for creating genetic map right these phenomena or this formula we can use it and we can calculate the distances between gene and we can make the genetic map of any of the given cell or organism right so what is recombination frequency it is the number of recombinant divided by total number of progeny so you are supposed to know the total number of progeny for example 1000 and total number of recombinant for example 200 so 200 divided by 1000 so that will be your recombination frequency now 
final conclusion of the experiment is what it is the distance between two genes so they have considered that distance as one centimorgan or one map unit right so what is one centimorgan or what is one map unit it is one percentage of recombinant if the frequency is one percent then the distance between two genes is either one centimorgan or one map unit so if you know the recombination frequency or ratio you can find the distance between two given genes right and this kind of calculative questions are frequently used in various types of competitive exams so it is very important so please take the screenshot of this slide fine these are the conclusion of uh, the entire uh, things what we have seen right uh, to find the map distances we have various types of uh, um, statements which are there one combination one percent of recombination is called as one uh, map unit that is mu you are supposed to remember this or one centimorgan right it is c small c in capital m centimorgan it is a unit so if suppose 12 percentage of recombination is there then the distance between two genes are either 12 map unit or 12 centimorgan so that's way we are supposed to calculate the distance between two genes right now if recombination frequency is less than 15 50 percent then those genes are linked genes considered to be linked genes and if recombination frequencies are equal or more than 50 percent those genes are unlinked genes recombination frequency if it is equal to zero percent then it is completely linked which never have been found to be apart from each other right so that is also to be remembered now any average human chromosome is of 200 map unit so typical gene distance is 0 0.01 map unit and one gene average consists 60,000 nucleotides these are the average which have been calculated by scientists right so these are the important terms what you are supposed to remember for uh, with reference to the competitive exams so please take the screenshot once again now let us try to solve the questions uh, with an examples right so in example number one if you see uh, the statement which is given there are three genes on a single chromosome a b and c so chromosome number of chromosome is one and gene is three a b and c now they exhibit the following crossing over frequencies so crossing over frequency is given between a and b it is 35 between b and c it is 10 c and d 15 c and a 25 b and d 25 these are in percentage now what we are supposed to see we are supposed to determine the order of the genes which is first which is second which is third which is fourth on the chromosome right here is the hint which is given start with the longest one and space it right and you are supposed to mark it into the on the chromosome so let us see the longest one is 35 percent between a to b so let us mark a and b it is 35 percent for an example the 
the distance between both of them is 35 percent that is uh, a map unit okay uh, second is either AC or DB both are 25 percent let us consider the B and D 25 percent so B and D 25 so let me write D here it shows 25 percent that is 25 MU the third is C and A and it is also 25 so C and A so A C it is also 25 percent now C and D 15 percent it is automatically it is given here 15 percent and 10 percent B and C so it is 10 percent so it is matching perfectly so this is the order right order right so uh, you will be given four options so this will be the right of uh, uh, order first will be a second will be d third will be c and fourth will be b ready or you can invert them b c d a or a d c b both ready so that way you are supposed to place it from largest to smallest and you can find out the series or order of the genes which are given let us consider the other example as well so here also we are supposed to determine the order of given genes it is much more complex than that one so here uh, distance between a and b is eight percent a and c 28 percent a and d 25 percent b and c 20 percent and between b and d 33 percent so largest is b and d so let me write b here d here right and that will give 33 percent now the second important thing what i have to consider is this b is common in both of them right so b c and b d so b is in between to the c and d so i am erasing the b i am placing c here and putting b here ready so distance between c and b is 20 and b and d is 33 now a and c 28 so c is far 25 28 unit far from c so let me put a here so it is 28 then a and d 25 this one a and d 25 then comes a and b 8 so this is a and d 8 so all is rearranged done perfectly right so that's the perfect order what we can find it from this uh, given data so correct order will be c b a and d or invertly d a b and c both will be right so this is how you can calculate or you can put the given genes into the correct order so this kind of question may ask into your examinations right and this is uh, the formula which i have been sh uh, shown that how you can calculate it so first you are supposed to put the larger one right b and d so this is b and d which is 33 unit then b and c 20 then a and d 25 then a and b 8 so that way you can find the correct order of the genes which are given here fine 
please take the screenshot of this light <coughs> And the last one uh, of the example of uh, the chromosomal theory of inheritance, the calculating recombinant frequency from test cross between small a small a small b small b crossed with capital A small a capital B small b. Right? Uh, it is a type mistake here. Oh, it is capital B small b here. Right? So, you can get the following number of offspring, parental offspring are into the middle and recombinant are at the both sides, ready? So, you are supposed to uh, crossing over value you are supposed to find right the crossing over value c o v now how we can find the crossing over value right so number of recombinant and total offspring these are the two formula it is nothing but the recombination frequency what we have used earlier right divided by 100 percent right so number of recombinant when it is divided by total offspring so let us count number of recombinant first 54 second 46 so 54 and 6 uh, 54 and 46 total number of recombinant is 100 and number of total offspring is 1000 so 10% is the crossing over value or frequency what we can find from given data ready if you are not given the f1 generation which is actually given here you can calculate by yourself and you are supposed to find the number of offsprings if it is not given Ready? So that way you are supposed to find uh, the crossing over value. So these kind of questions are going to ask into the examination. So hereby I am concluding the final statements right into the your uh, topic that is uh, chromosomal theory of inheritance and uh, uh, what we have seen in this lecture is the Morgan experiments. Fine, I'll see you into the next lecture. Have a nice time.